My name is Lisa Lundy. I'm the mother to three beautiful children, a motivational speaker. I also happen to be a wife and the author of the Super Allergy Girl Allergy and Celiac Cookbook from a Mother Who Knows, a gluten-free, dairy-free, egg-free, and other allergen-free cookbook. Here to talk to you today about infertility. Now, I'm a layperson, and some of you are probably wondering why am I even qualified to speak about infertility? First off, if there's a woman in the United States who is most likely to be voted most unlikely to have a baby, it would have been me. I almost had two complete hysterectomies, and the second near miss, they removed most of my uterine tissue, leaving me with a lining and a very paper thin layer. So there's a lot of things I know about being able to get pregnant that you might not hear otherwise. And all of these tips I've put together in a very short two and a quarter page document that you can download free from my website. So let's get started. First of all, it starts with a commitment. You have to make up your mind that you're gonna become a mother no matter what and start being that it's your decision and it will go your way. Secondly, what I always recommend to people is find a really great physician. There's a lot of testing available with today's technology, so take advantage of it. And while you're at the physician's office, make sure absolutely that you get tested for celiac disease and rule out celiac as a source for infertility. Undiagnosed, untreated celiac increases the risk for miscarriage by 800 to 900%. Yes, you did hear that. An 800 to 900% increased risk for miscarriage in people who don't know they have celiac. So it makes sense to visit your doctor. The next thing is studies have shown if you simply use solid relaxation techniques, as a Harvard doctor pointed out in an article I read many years ago, your chances of becoming pregnant increase dramatically. So relax. Use your mind and visualization to create the future you're living into. If you can't visualize yourself getting pregnant, being pregnant, and having a baby, it's just not that likely to happen. The next thing is to make sure you bump up your nutrition. Most vitamin companies know that many Americans, most Americans in fact, are missing essential nutrients that are vital to health. If you're looking at infertility as a problem, when you're at your doctor's rolling out celiac disease and doing other testing, do a good nutritional profile and make sure you have what you need. Get in shape. If you're overweight or underweight, that can affect your ability to conceive. Get your mind busy doing other things. If you're all focused about getting pregnant, that can just hype you up and give you a sense of adrenaline and repeated disappointments. Do all of the things and get yourself your mind on other things. And while you're at it, make sure you get absolutely plenty of good quality sleep. This is the time your body repairs itself. So relax, download my free tip sheet, and above all, stay committed, it will happen. For this and other helpful documents, visit my website at www.thesuperallergycookbook.com.